It's time for RustConf 2023, and I can't wait. Let's go over what you can expect from this year's RustConf, including some extra events that aren't on the official schedule. RustConf is the largest annual gathering of the Rust language community and is being held from September 12th through 15th in Albuquerque, New Mexico. The conference has been expanded to four days this year and is at the Albuquerque Convention Center in the state of New Mexico. Here's a schedule overview where I roughed out what's going on. This is not exactly to scale, so check the calendars for actual times for everything. The first day is a training day. The second and third days are the speaker sessions, and then there is an unconference day. Let's go over it. Day one, Tuesday, is an optional add-on training day. The day kicks off with Herbert Wolverson's three-hour fearless concurrency with Rust training from 9.30 to 12.30. Fun fact, I noticed that Herbert is also doing a Rust training at GopherCon. That's the Go conference. Should I be teaching at GopherCon too? Anyway, next up is me. I am teaching my four-hour Ultimate Rust Crash Course from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. This is the course I've been teaching since 2018, only this year I have gone through the entire curriculum, adding fresh new ingredients and baking it to perfection. This is a hands-on course where you will not only get live instruction with live answers to your questions, but also helpful exercises to do, example code, access to the pre-recorded online version of the course, and the new private community Discord server for my students. This is my most popular course. It is fun, entertaining, and focuses on getting professional software developers up to speed with Rust fast. So if you're new to Rust, or your Rust is a bit rusty, come take my course. This was added to the official schedule just recently, so if you registered for RustConf early, you will need to go back to purchase an extra ticket for this. Or if you haven't registered yet, you can add this course on while you register for RustConf. Next, Day two is the only day that starts at 10 a.m. instead of 9.30 a.m. The day starts off with a single session track kicked off by a keynote titled Rustation Community Interfaces from Nell Shamrell Harrington that promises Dungeons & Dragons references. Then we dive straight into a Corey Alexander session on using Rust to make an AI player for the Battlesnake programming game, followed by Jan or Jan? who will introduce the Rust infrastructure team and talk about managing Rust's growth. And in the precarious right before lunch, hurry up, we're all hungry spot, we've got Jacob Pratt, who will talk about moving the standard library away from using nightly features and special internal compiler stuff towards being more like any other library. Then we've got lunch. Just like any conference, I have high hopes, but low expectations for the food. We shall see how it goes, shan't we? After lunch, we break into two session tracks. First up, we have my personal most anticipated session of the week, Extending Rust's Effect System by Joshua Wuitz. This is all about the Keywords Generics initiative, which I'm super excited about because it should make dealing with const versus not const and sync versus async much less painful. At the same time, we've got implementing a blazingly fast quantum state simulator in Rust by Savelli and Charlie, also a strong contender. Obviously, the conference organizers knew to put some strong sessions right after lunch to keep us from falling asleep. Next up, we've got Pierre Avital talking about creating a stable ABI for Rust as a library and dynamically linking stuff in, as well as Vitaly Bragilevsky teaching how to profile async Tokyo-based Rust applications. Then we get a quick snack break, hopefully catering to more than just the people who are addicted to caffeinated beverages, because the rest of us would like something to drink too. I mean, is it really that hard to include some juice or even just hot chocolate packets? But I digress. After the snack break, we've got Beyond Control C, the dark corners of Unix signal handling by Rain, and making GUIs accessible across platforms and languages with Rust by Matt Campbell. And finally, we conclude with Rust in the Skies over Antarctica by Achim Stossel, who didn't submit a headshot, talking about using Rust to detect cosmic rays in balloons over Antarctica, and Rust Foundation Demystified by Sage Griffin, who will dive into what really goes on behind the organizational curtain. Happy Hour has absolutely no description on the schedule, but I'm hoping for tasty barbecued snacks and fresh apple cider. Hey, a guy can dream, can't he? But wait, is that all? 
No, I'm teaching a live version of my four hour Ultimate Rust 2 Intermediate Concepts course from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. This is my highest rated course on technical content. This is not part of the official conference. I'm renting a room at the same convention center that RustConf is in and teaching this independently. So sign up using the link in the description below if you'd like to attend this course. Ultimate Rust 2 is all about the day-to-day -day things you need to know about Rust to have a good experience working in a group setting. Once again, this includes free access to the online version of this course and access to the private community Discord server. This course covers topics like how to write idiomatic code, generating documentation, unit and integration testing, benchmarking, iterators, closures, threads, mini game projects, and so much more. Since I've got the room all day anyway, I've also opened up tutoring hours that you can sign up for in half hour increments. This is paid tutoring, but the rate is the same whether you want individual instruction or bring a small group and split the cost. So if you need some extra training, sign up for a tutoring session with me. I'm happy to go over any Rust topic I teach or that I know well enough. Comment below or send me an email at nathan at agileperception.com if you have any questions. I will be watching the live sessions during any time slots that don't get booked, but I'm not stressed about missing sessions since they're all recorded and I can watch them afterwards if I need to. On to day three. Starting at 9.30 like most days, we kick off with a keynote titled Repackaging the World by Amy Null, discussing ways that package managers could be improved. And then we split into two tracks where we've got Rusty Genomics by Lisa Crossman about using Rust in the traditionally Python-centric biosciences and a Rust-based garbage collector for Python by Ioana because Rust is the language you use to create other languages languages nowadays. Next up, we've got Async Building Blocks, a streaming data drama in three acts by Zach Mitchell. I'm just dying to hear whether Pablo PubSub will remain faithful to Mary Message or cheat on her with a voluptuous Beatrix buffer, aren't you? And How Powerful is Const by Nikolai Vasquez, who will attempt to stretch your Const techniques to new heights. Those will be followed by Jonas Kruckenberg telling the story of delivering reliable Rust bindings to macOS Objective-C system APIs and self-modifying code on embedded systems by Bradley Gannon, which sounds both horrifying and intriguing at the same time. Then it's time for the lunch break, which is slightly earlier than the day before, and then right back to integrating Rust and Go for GitHub code search by my GitHub coworker, Luke Frankel, which should be an absolutely awesome talk. Seriously, the new code search is lightning fast and it's written in Rust, naturally. The other session is listed as sponsored session, which is really mysterious. No idea what's going on there. Then we have The Art and Science of Teaching Rust by Will Crichton? Crichton? Not sure how to pronounce that name, which I'm super curious about for obvious reasons, and another mysterious sponsored session with no details. Seriously, what is going on this year? Maybe some companies are gonna do some hiring pitches, like, hey, come write Rust at our company. That'd be sorta cool. Then we end the two-track format with an afternoon snack break. By this time, everyone will know where the bathrooms are, and I expect to see some folks napping on the floor in the hall by sunny windows. The final single-track sessions are Anything You Can Do, I Can Do Worse with Macro Rules by Aurora and Solis, which sounds kinda scary, and then a session about controlling an entire recycling factory of devices with Rust by Carter Schultz, and and a final closing keynote by Elizabeth Ayer about addressing organizational boundary problems, which I would guess is directly or indirectly addressing the big mess up with a previously invited keynote speaker who was then basically insultingly shunted out of the keynote, which was not cool. Let's do better. And then yes, in the evening, I'm teaching a four hour course on how to use the Bevy game engine, my favorite pure Rust game engine, which I use for my own indie game projects. Once again, this is not part of the official conference. I am still renting that same room as the day before, but wait. If you've taken any of my other courses during this conference or ever before, I'll give you 50% off the Bevy course. Or if you're a Bevy contributor or have published a Bevy plugin, I'll let you in for absolutely free. Just contact me. In fact, if you're one of the core contributors, I'd be happy to pair up with you and co-teach the course. Just let me know. I would love to have a core contributor as a co-teacher. I may be pinging a few of you just to see if you're interested. 
If I get a co-teacher, I will make a quick video and post it up here on this channel with the details. So like and subscribe if you don't wanna miss that. The Bevy course will take you from zero to running a game with 2D graphics, sound, input from keyboard, mouse, and gamepad, and using plugins like the physics plugin. If we have time, I'll also show you how to deploy your game to WebAssembly, host it on a web page, and play it in a browser. And if we still have time after that, I'll go over some of the 3D graphics stuff. And yes, yeah, since I've got the room for the whole day, I have also got tutoring sessions available if you're interested. And if not, then more live Rust comp sessions for me. That leaves us with Friday, which is an unconference day. The entire description for this event is join the Rust project team for a day of informal uncomp style discussion and collaboration. Attendance is free, but limited to, I think about a hundred people. Signing up is tricky though. What you have to do is first sign up for RustConf. Then at the very bottom of the receipt email, there is this link that you click on to register for the unconference. You will also need the order ID from higher up in the receipt email to prove that you are already attending the main conference. Space is limited, so only sign up if you are really planning on going. Lunch is not included in the unconference, but there will be a break for you to go and find your own lunch. Another option is attending the free four hour mini game jam that I am running for the pure fun of it. You do need to register at the link in the description below if you want to be in the room for the mini game jam, but you're also welcome to participate online from anywhere. Just use the itch.io link in the description below to submit your game. This is a low stress, casual, absolutely free and open to everyone game jam. Make something fun. We'll have a fun theme and some prompts to get you started. We'll form groups and then spend about four hours making some games and then we'll show them off and vote for the winners. So my week is pretty packed, but there are still a couple of gaps I want to fill before I fly out. So I was thinking of playing some pickleball. Come play with me. I discovered pickleball last December and I have been playing a lot ever since. I do need some help finding some decent pickleball courts not too far from the Albuquerque Convention Center. Can someone help me out here? Please comment below or send me an email if you have any good locations in mind or know any special ways to search for pickleball courts. My searching so far hasn't turned up much, and if I don't find something, I'll end up just filling the gaps eating Italian food, and then I'll be so stuffed they'll have to roll me onto the plane. So now you know what to expect at RustConf. Go get registered. Pick the sessions you're going to attend. Use the links in the description below if you want to sign up for any of my extracurricular activities. Or if you want to talk about pickleball or any of the Rust stuff, leave a comment or contact me on any of the social medias, and let's connect. I hope to see you in Albuquerque this September. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. Albu, Albu, Albuquerque, Albuquerque. Say that 10 times fast.